Hey, Coyote Nation, happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the rains this morning. How about that? The uh, Coyote deck is a little bit wet this morning as Jason and I sit here. You can see that we've got Jason Stapleton, who is, of course, the Director of Business Development at 107.9, the Coyote, but he is also our resident Kansas City Chiefs super fan. And so he's with us here on Monday because the Chiefs opened training camp over the weekend. And Jason, you were there front and center on Saturday for day number one. And from everything I hear, including from you, all your videos on Facebook and everything, yeah. it was a madhouse. It was just kind of crazy. What a bang to start the season. I mean, at this is the start of the season. And we had a record turnout out of camp, over 10,000 people. It wow. really, Chris, when I got there, the first of all, the line I had to sit in. Uh, so if you are going to Chiefs camp, and I highly recommend that you do, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a uh, unbelievable experience. It's I'm, up in St. Joe. St. Joe, Missouri. It's right. about a three, three and a half hour drive. Give yourself plenty of time. But once you get into the facilities, wide open, so you got plenty of space. But ten thousand people were there. Plus, uh, the the uh, the players knew it. The the, the fans were loud. And the uh, all the Chiefs players were playing into that. It was it was great great experience. Glad we were there. Yeah, absolutely. And and um, I saw the interviews with uh, Andy Reid, and he was talking about the record setting fans. Like you yeah. said, over ten thousand, I think, on Saturday alone. Um, and then uh, Patrick Mahomes was talking about how much energy it gives the players, you know, for the fans to be there. Uh, Tyreek Hill was talking about he's now a tree. Did you hear that? <laughs> I mean, because his mom gave him the advice that you got to be like a tree uh, and grow. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that interview was something else. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's it's very entertaining at Chiefs he, camp. He, so He said the cheetah's back. The <laughs> cheetah's back. He was, it, it was quick. You know, but here's the thing. I mean, well, first, we got to make note of this. They had every player reporting to training camp, which is remarkable. That's greatness. Yeah. All boots are on the ground. The fans knew it. But honestly, we've got we can't go any further, Chris. We've got to thank Econo Lift. Absolutely. Econo Lift. Everyone knows who Econo Lift is. Home of the shallow water boat lift. Don't be scrubbing your own bottom. And don't boat lift bottoms. <laughs> boat lift bottoms. <laughs> That's right. Econo Lift, y'all give them a call. Got any questions about boat lifts, anything related, give them a call. We, uh, check them out on Facebook. We too. love Econo Lift. They yeah. they sent me to the College World Series, uh, you know, with 1079 the Coyote. They're uh, sending me over to Chiefs sending, camp. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I so, think they're pretty big, pretty big Chiefs fans. Yeah, I think so too. So yeah. we do love the uh, Econo Lift people. <laughs> so and, and so you were there Saturday. You yeah. were feet away from Andy Reid and yeah. Patrick Mahomes and all these guys. You're going back uh, tomorrow, right? You're going to be there Tuesday. Again. Yeah, and, and, and this week full pads. Okay, the gloves are coming off. Full pads. We're talking real football. Uh, actually, I started today. Yeah, I will be there tomorrow, 8:15 a.m. That's when the practice is, and you got to like this page, share it, get the word out there. The Coyote is bringing some content, some Chiefs content that you won't find anywhere else here Absolutely. in the area, and so we're really proud of that. And we got a Connell lift to thank for it. Absolutely. So, uh, great job Saturday. I think that was your first training camp experience, right? <laughs> so it was probably a little overwhelming oh, at some point in time, I'm guessing. I was freaked out. I mean, I stumbled <laughs> onto a meeting I shouldn't have stumbled onto before I even had my press credentials. Right. But uh, once I found my footing and learned where I was supposed to go, I, honestly, Chris, I wasn't even able to, I wasn't able to enjoy it as a, as a fan. Yeah. There was no time for that. It felt like a job. But when it was all kind of hushed and every kind of thing kind of quieted down, I found myself standing arm in arm walking with Patrick Mahomes. I had a moment. How about that? A moment. I had a moment. It's a bromance. I had a moment. Yeah. But then I had to get back to work. Yeah. But it's funny because <laughs> when you, uh, you know, everybody thinks it's fun in games, what we do in the media, and actually it's a lot of work. If yeah. we're doing it right, we make it look like fun in games, but it is a lot of work to go and cover things like that. So we appreciate you, Jason, going and doing that and uh, putting in all that hard work at Chiefs training. Oh, this is a rough, rough gig, everybody. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and he's doing it because he loves you so much. That's right. Man. Right. Yeah. This is a game of service. Right. So we thank Econo Lift uh, for sending Jason to uh, training camp. He's going back tomorrow. We'll talk to him uh, after that. And, uh, and be sure to check out, you know, if, if you haven't already followed us on our Facebook page, be sure to do that because he's going to be uploading stuff 
from training camp, right? And uh, yeah, and keep in mind, we're talking footage where Coy the Coyote is right up there with ESPN, Fox Sports, all of your heavy hitters, your Kansas City Star, all your Kansas City media. We're right there for the press conferences. All you got to do is like, follow us on Facebook, and you're going to be updated immediately yeah. when something is happening. And so it's a great way. And plus, besides, I'm not going to get. I'm no expert. I'm no expert at all, but I will tell you what, I'm 100% biased. I am a Chiefs fan reporting for the Chiefs. And so if you want some love for the Chiefs, uh, follow what I'm doing. Absolutely, greatness. One other thing we need to mention before you go is we've got a new morning show. Woo! It was great today too. I hope everyone caught it. Yeah, I hope yeah. you did. What's the name of it? Uh, it's Crystal and the Bear. That's it. That's right, on 107.9 The Coyote. So 107.9 The Coyote's got a brand new morning show for you. They're local, they're live, they're from here. Yeah. Coyote Crystal, who is married to him. Some things are unexplainable. <laughs> uh, That's right. Uh, it's a and, whole other video there. So Coyote Crystal and the Bear, and and they're they're great, and they're local in the morning, and, and you know, it's just fantastic. So... Now, when you're getting up in the morning, if you weren't listening to the Coyote before, you need to tune it over to the Coyote now because we got a whole new morning show for you, and they are fantastic. The Coyote, man, we're busy. Yeah, we busy are busy. out here for you guys. So, along with being the our resident Kansas City Chief Super fan, you are 107.9 The Coyote's Director of Business Development, right? Yeah. That's that's job number one. That job number one. So you help businesses in Coyote Nation get more business. Well, right. We got a huge platform. We got a lot of we got a lot of great listeners. We got a lot of responsive listeners as well. And so with that, it would behoove a business to be involved with the Coyote. And I'm the guy to talk to you to Absolutely. get that done. How do they talk to you? How do they get a hold of you? Uh, let me give you a phone number, 573-317-8026. I know Chris will put it somewhere right, right there. there. Right there. Uh right. -huh. Uh, you can email me at jason at kclq.com. That's over there. That's over on that side. What are you doing? <laughs> I felt like you were. Oh, uh, I'm, tickles. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, so, or you can just come into the station, you know, uh, we're happy to meet everybody. Just, um, yeah, <laughs> heck, we're in the square, uh, Camden right. Square, you can come drop by and see us. Uh, the best show in the Ozarks, don't miss it, uh, is Casey and the Round Man, 3 to 6 in the afternoon. Our new morning show from, what is that, 6 to 10? 6 to 10. 6 to 10, Crystal the new morning and show. the Bear. You got to check that They're out. Funny. It's greatness. Have a good time. Jamie fun, Turner Middays, and we've got, yep. uh, yeah, I mean, just every show that we do, Cody in the evenings, is fantastic. So uh, be sure to join us, 107.9 The Coyote. And you can't forget my Renegade Radio it. Sports updates, right? Yes. Right around 35 past the hour from 6.35 in the morning to 6.35 in the evening. We'll keep you up to date on the Chiefs and the Cards, who are tied for first place, by the way. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. They just do that, don't they? Yeah. And the Royals, who are playing better, although they had a tough, yeah. uh, you know, tough series over the weekend and all that stuff. Mizzou football, you know, their first practice is this Friday. So, well, you know, we'll keep you up to date on all that. Renegade Radio Sports Updates, 107.9 The Coyote. And again, be sure to follow us on Facebook. Our website is 107.9 The Coyote. Dot com. Anything else we need to let them know about? Just another quick shout out to Econolift. Hey, it's a home of the shallow water boat lift. That's right. And he'll okay. be back at training camp tomorrow and posting stuff on Facebook. And we'll have him back here on the Coyote Deck to fill us in on what's going on. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks, man. Appreciate having me on. Bet you. And until then, God bless you.